Welcome back to the Lights Out Podcast, bedtime stories for boys and girls around the world. Good evening, boys and girls. Are you ready for bed? Are you all snuggled up and ready for another Lights Out bedtime story? Well, you're in for a treat tonight because we've just arrived at our house with another Caldecott medalist book winner, and that is Hello Lighthouse by Sophie Blackhall. And... It's a nice hardback book with pictures that are simply amazing. And it really gives you an insight into what it must have been like to live in a lighthouse. It's kind of cool. Let me tell you the story of Hello Lighthouse. I read this to my kids the other day and they loved it. Once upon a time, on the highest rock of a tiny island at the edge of the world stands a lighthouse. It is built to last forever, sending its light out to sea, guiding the ships on their way. And from dusk to dawn, the lighthouse beams. Hello, 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 lighthouse. The new keeper arrives to replace the old, to carry on tending the light. He polishes the lens and refills the oil and trims the burned end of the wick. Throughout the night, he winds the clockwork that keeps the lamp in motion. During the day, he gives the round rooms a fresh coat of sea green paint. He writes in the logbook and threads his needle and listens to a gathering wind. The wind takes a deep breath and blows and blows. Hello, hello, hello. The keeper boils water and drinks his tea as he fishes for cod from the window. He sets the table and hums a tune and wishes for someone to talk to. Every few days he writes her a letter and throws it into the waves. He tends the light and writes in the logbook and waits for her reply. The sky grows dark and the waves rise and crash. Hello, hello. Hello. The keeper looks through his telescope. The tender arrives, bringing oil and flour and pork and beans. And his wife. He shows her around the round rooms of their house. He tends the light. He writes in the logbook and sets a table for two. The fog makes everything disappear. A bell must be rung to warn the ships. Clang, clang, clang. One thick night, disaster strikes. A boat is wrecked on the rocks. Not a moment to lose, the keeper rows out. He pulls three sailors from the deep black sea. He tends the light. He writes in the logbook and wraps the sailors in blankets. The sea turns into a carpet of ice. Hello, hello, hello. One dawn, the keeper begins to sneeze. By dusk, he is terribly ill. His wife is everywhere, all at once, running up and down the spiral stairs. She tends to light and feeds him broth and chips ice off the lantern room windows. She sits up by his side and writes in the logbook. The minute his fever breaks. The icebergs pass by on their journey south. The whales pass by on their journey north. Hello, hello, hello. Inside the lighthouse, The woman walks around and around the room. Her husband boils water and helps her breathe in and out. He tends to the light and writes in the logbook and notes the birth of their child. The sky erupts in swirls of green. Hello, hello, hello. The tender arrives, bringing oil and flour, and pork, and beans, and the mail, along with fresh books and news from the land. 
there's an unexpected letter with the Coast Guard seal. The keeper winds the clockwork and polishes the lens, just as he's always done. He tends the light and writes in the logbook, but knows that it's not for long. Together, they watch the horizon. The Coast Guard arrives with a brand new light and installs the machine to run it. No lamp to fill, no wick to trim. The keeper's work is done. He climbs to the top of the spiral stairs and closes the logbook for good. They pack their belongings into the boat and wave farewell to the gulls. Beyond the breakers, they all look up. Goodbye, lighthouse. Goodbye. 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 On the highest rock of a tiny island at the edge of the world stands a lighthouse. It is built to last forever, sending its light out to sea. The fog rolls in. The fog rolls out. The waves rise and crash. The wind blows and blows. Hello. 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 Over the waves, across the bay, a light on the land beams back. Hello. 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 Hello, lighthouse. The end of the fantastic book called Hello, Lighthouse by Sophie Blackhall. That's a Caldecott medal winning book and it's absolutely amazing a book that you have to hold and see to believe and that's here on the Lights Out podcast the Lighthouse podcast <laughs> for boys and girls and keepers of lighthouses all over the world good night